Playing musical chairs, former DA MPs Lowry Bosman, Nikki van der Berg, and Theo Kutsie have become disillusioned with the DA. They cited the party's flip flop on the reopening of land claims, and they say Afrikaners are being marginalized by the DA. The FF Plus seems to be capitalizing on this. If you become bigger and bigger all the time, it's very difficult to look after specific interests, like maybe minority rights, maybe cultural rights in that sense. Surely the Freedom Front can look after that. The DA appears unperturbed, saying the three were very low on its list. There is a place for all South Africans within the Democratic Alliance, and uh, the policy positions are debated internally, and their voice was heard, respected, and integrated into our position. Some analysts say the DA could alienate some of its core support base as it tries to woo black voters. All political parties who try to move beyond their core support base run a risk. They might lose a little of the core support base and hopefully they gain more. I think this might be true of the DA. But there's something else also in the play and that is that the Freedom Front has been reaching out to Afrikaners and other political parties telling them we're your true, true home, come to us. And I think that message may have gone, come home for some people. The three MPs have joined a growing list of politicians who've changed allegiance on the eve of the elections. Bulirani Philip, SABC News, Cape Town.